What's up everybody? I'm going to start this video off with uh, some friend mail that I received. I received a large envelope and um, I did go ahead and open it up and kind of take a peek just so I, I knew exactly what I was looking at here. Basically what I had received. So this came um, from Amazon but I think there are, I'm going to check here and see, I think there are some gift receipts in here. Uh, let's see if there's at least one. Okay, yeah, I see, well, actually, I see two. Okay, so let's check these out, the gift receipts here from Amazon real quick. Um, so the first one here says, Merry Christmas, Franklin. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Your friend, Sarah, from Sarah Santoro. And I hope I said your last name <laughs> correctly. Um, and then the other one here, Franklin, I really enjoyed this comic and thought you would too. Merry Christmas, your friend, Scary Sari. Um, and that's what I'm used to referring to her as. Scary Sari is uh, a name that she goes by online. So obviously, you know, like she said there, she sent me a comic. And this was very cool of her to do this. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and this is um, something that I actually have been saying. I really want to read this. Um, so this is awesome here. Stray Dogs, which I did not know the concept of this until recently. And when I heard the concept, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty dark. Um, let me see what it says here. What do you get when you crossbreed Silence of the Lands with All Dogs Go to Heaven? Well, you get stray dogs. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy combination there. Um, but I think it has something to do with a, a serial killer that actually keeps the um, the dogs of the women that he kills, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but of course, I'm going to read it, you know, and I'll learn all about it. Um, that That is a pretty dark concept, though. Uh, I like the artwork here. I'm not going to flip through it because I don't want to accidentally see any um, spoilers to the story there. But I definitely do like the art style, how it is kind of kind of this Disney art style and yet very dark storyline. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. I just need to find the time to actually read comics. I've just been so busy. There is another item in here. Let's see what this is. Because, of course, you know, there were um, two gift receipts. So, yeah, that means there's another item. So... Exactly. I think this is a gift card, if I'm not mistaken, but it's in a very unique container here. Oh, this is actually an ornament. Okay, it says, I'm an ornament there. Here's, of course, we got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And uh, yeah, it is a, um, a gift card in here as well. So that is pretty cool. So yeah, that I like the way they did this. Got an ornament there and a gift card as well. That's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, Scary Sarah, I really do appreciate this and um i actually have something for you i actually brought something for you uh two small items around halloween and i, I didn't want to just send them by themselves so i did pick up a little something else for you um that i'm going to send your way very soon hopefully it gets there before christmas but if not it'll arrive immediately after so you know it's, it's on the way it'll be on the way um pretty soon but uh thank you so much for being an awesome friend and being thoughtful enough to, you know to send these items my way i really do appreciate that I had some items that did some other items that arrived by mail recently, including um, this Maleficent and, um, you know, Maleficent soda. And I have actually opened up a couple of these um, and I haven't been sharing them on the channel just because for one thing, I'm not really a big Disney collector. And then also I've said it before, you know, sometimes if I'm getting um, individual sodas or maybe just two sodas in the mail, I'll just go ahead and check them out. I may not always film them and uh, this one like I said this is like the fourth or fifth Maleficent I received and I think I got this one from Hot Topic because I was ordering something else and I figured and I actually had um, like a five dollar credit or something which of course doesn't completely cover this but it knocked off some of the price so I was like let me go ahead and try one more time for the Maleficent chase because I do think it looks pretty cool although it should be glow in the dark they really should have made it glow in the dark oh I don't know if I showed it um that is what the common looks like, of course. And you all, I'm not going to be dishonest with you. I'll let you know. I already um, peeked at the pog, so I know that I finally got this uh, Maleficent chase here. Which I'm like, a, you know, like a lot of other people say, it would be so nice if the flames actually glow, were glow in the dark. But um, I don't believe they are. But that would be so nice if they were. But yeah, this is a very cool looking figure here. Yeah, and I was just, I, I just really wanted to go ahead and, um, you know, get this chase here. And um, let's go and get the Pog out. And uh, yeah, I, since I do have some extras of the commons, um, I will be um, doing some giveaways basically 
and uh, you know, doing some uh, like multiple sodas at once, not just the individual Maleficence, but that will be an option with the um, the soda giveaways that I will have on the channel. But you see here, Maleficent with flames, one out of two thousand five hundred, which is kind of a low count there. Yeah, so like I said, I, I was just on a mission to finally get this particular figure. So yeah, I got the chase, and of course, I have a comment for myself, and then like I said, I have some extra commons that will be um as options for future uh soda giveaways on the channel okay so something else that arrived in the mail like right after my last unboxing and i almost started to add this at the end of that video but i felt that video was already long enough so i decided to hold off on it but i did get one more fall convention figure here um and this is punchline of course so she was part of the uh, festival of fun or new york comic con part two however you want to look at it um, really awesome looking figure now I did read the origin I guess you could say for the character even though her origin is extremely thin not a lot to it but um, yeah I, I did want to go ahead and get this pop and I may read some more about the uh, character you know some of the comics that she's featured in I'm trying to remember I feel like I may have seen a standalone comic with her as well you know if you're a big DC comic fan let me know if she has her own comic going right now or at least a single issue um, I can't really remember, but I, I feel like I may have seen her on the cover of a comic by herself. And I, I don't really know her complete relationship with the Joker. If, if she if she's actually like his new love interest or if she's just a sidekick purely, I really don't know their relationship. You know, so I'm going to have to uh, read up on that some to learn more about her. About her, excuse me. I kind of like how they did these things in her hair. I'm not even sure what you would call that. I don't know if that's meant to be like a scrunchie or something i don't i don't know what is going on there but it does look pretty cool i like the colors in general that she has you know the purple and the blue yeah and the black going on nice mix of colors there she's a pretty cool looking character i just um i don't know like i don't know how to feel about her yet because i've not read enough about her and like i said her origin was very thin so definitely want to learn more about the character if you've read anything about punchline you know if you've read any of her comics definitely let me know um you know what you think about this character and then I, I did go to one of my favorite stores, Player's Choice in North Myrtle Beach. Um, if you've been with the channel for a while, you've heard me mention them before. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me share pictures and images, you know, from, from that store before. But uh, I have a couple of pops here, but I also want to show you these. Uh, so the Disney Infinity uh, game franchise, I guess you could call it, um, is long dead at this point but they did have some really awesome figures that kind of went along with the game so i got this iron man here which now that i'm thinking about it i hope i didn't accidentally get a double but i don't think i had this one yet but i really like the look of this like i said you know these are meant to interact with um the game but you know the game series is done with at this point but the figures are still really awesome and i like the design of this iron man i like the style of it so yeah i went ahead and picked that up they had a couple of um the Disney Infinity figures, and I had to get this one as well because Hawkeye is truly having a moment. You know, his Disney Plus series is really good, and at this point, there's just one more episode left for the season. I don't know if they're going to do a season two or just bring him back into the movies um, on the big screen. I, I don't know what's going to happen with Hawkeye, but that series has been so good, and I really do like the design of this figure as well. Now, there is another Disney Infinity figure that I really want to add to my collection, and it's actually Syndrome from The Incredibles, but that one seems to be hard to find. They did have it at Player's Choice at one point, but I think I didn't go for it just because I really wasn't focused on myself at the time. I was, I was shopping for, I think, to add to my giveaway um, prize pools, and usually if I'm going out specifically to find something for my prize pools, prize pools excuse me i try to behave and not get anything for myself but um yeah it ended up selling so i'm gonna have to try to track it down somewhere else like i said syndrome is definitely one i want to get but i really do like these disney infinity figures if you like you know collecting just cool looking figures and you're not specific to any part particular company um you might want to check and, and look at the disney infinity figures of course at this point you would have to go second market for them but it might be worth checking them out you might see something that you are interested in and then I did pick up two Funko Pops from Player's Choice. So this is one that um, I think it was, yeah, it was sold with a t-shirt and I didn't want the t-shirt. Um, so I finally found this pop actually by itself at a good price. So we have here Dark Phoenix and this was a 2019 Fall Convention exclusive. And look at the coloring on that figure. That looks really good. 
So I'm really glad to finally have this figure. Like I said, I wasn't worried about the t-shirt. And oddly enough, GameStop, it was a GameStop exclusive. The GameStops hadn't really been marking that down for whatever reason. So yeah, I was glad I found the standalone pop. And I'm going to leave her unboxed right now. I think you can see the uh, coloring and everything pretty well. Really love the shades of yellow and orange there. That's a pretty awesome Dark Phoenix figure. And then I also got this PX Previews exclusive Hawkeye. So this is a recent release, of course. So I got two Hawkeye, you know, two new Hawkeye figures here. And I do plan on um, getting some of the figures that are based on the Disney Plus series. And I'm really interested to see if they're going to do some more figures based off of the finale. I really hope they do, especially a particular um, villain would be nice. Uh-oh, this one might not want to stand well. We'll, we'll check it in a second. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely could do some more pops based off of the series that's going to be interesting to see but yeah this is the classic hawkeye really nice coloring I, I really you know these shades of purple sometimes they just look really good they really really stand out well on a figure of course he has the h there for hawkeye and you know this works as a comic design of course you know but um this would not look great translated directly to live action but it really does work as you know a classic outfit I really like the look of this, and I'm kind of concerned. I don't think it's going to stand well. It seems like he wants to lean forward. Yeah, so they probably should have uh, did this one with a base, but I'm a, I'm, I'm mainly an inbox collector, so he's going to go back in the box anyway. But yeah, that's just unfortunate. Let me lean Hawkeye against Hawkeye there. Yeah, so um, that's something to be mindful of, I guess, if you're going to get that particular figure. You know, he doesn't necessarily stand well, or at least mine doesn't. If you've already picked up that figure, let me know if yours stands better than mine does. But mine is, like I said, is going to be going back in the box regardless. But uh, yeah, just a quick unboxing here. You know, there's going to be some more unboxings on the channel probably soon because it is Christmas time. You know, so um, be on the lookout for those, of course. And uh, again, Scary Sari, thank you so much for sending those um, items my way. I really do appreciate that. Pleasant surprise. I didn't really expect it. Um, so yeah, pleasant surprise there. But I definitely do appreciate that. And um, I do enjoy our conversations when we get a chance to chat. I definitely do. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out. Let me know what you think about the figures that I got here. And I will talk to you all again real soon.